Hello everyone, welcome back to Nash if you guys today and we have to do Epiphan Erase Episode 5 Redwood Run. So so the last episode we actually reacted to yes no way that's not yesterday, I think it's two days ago. So when Molly actually managed to return home safety and almost with Turned into a criminal thanks to her terrible dad for leaving her behind. Yeah, well, she almost turned into a criminal because her terrible dad just left her. Yeah, so, so been so, we, yeah. So that's a lesson learned for Uzi's dad for murder drones. Choose Uzi instead of your stupid doors. So yeah, now congratulations. Uzi's dad, whatever your name is, now Uzi's gonna be a murder drone and she's gonna kill you and everyone you love. You love. So anyway guys, let's start this video. Three, two, one, go. Thank All right. you for taking the time to speak with me, Miss Blinda. Oh, it's no problem, Detective. You did rescue me from those bonsai blasters after all. Yeah, bonsai blasters. And Molly's fine. Very well. Please. Call me Percy. Percy, that's okay. her name. Percy. Would you like some tea, Percy? He holds up a toy teapot. Yes. Thank you. Is it plastic? I was actually or is it... hoping I might ask you some Ooh. questions about that night. Sure. Oh, oh if God. you think I can help. Go ahead. Force Detective Percy Wait a, minute. a cup of steaming Earl Grey from oh, okay. the toy kettle. Ah, uh, I was expecting the make-believe tea customary of playtime. <laughs> I don't have time to play around, Detective. Ooh. What a coincidence. Neither do I. Let me bring you up to speed. Oh, no. Apparently, seven bonsai blasters from the museum are still at large, as well as the amulet that they stole. I've been assigned to hunt them down. Oh, they still got the, the yeah. I forgot they actually did stole the amulet. General scallyhood makes them difficult to track. I was hoping that you, as their hostage, might be able to give some insight on them, such as their oh, names. Oh no, is she gonna help? Help. Oh, Pers um, what's her name? Percy I'll see or Polly? What I Polly. Can yeah, there you go. Thank you, Molly. Your testimony could prove vital. I cannot emphasize enough how dangerous these crimes are. Oh, she's are. gonna help. Who's to Molly's see what just gonna help. Uh, they're committing. Even now. Polly's gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna help. Mo yeah, Molly's gonna help. Uh, Come po on, pick up, pick up. Who's she calling? Is he calling uh, Molly? Who is this? How did you get this number? Uh, are you Ramsey Murdoch? Speaking. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, I'm Giovanni Pataj. I'm a. I'm with the Bonsai Blasters. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. It says in our manual that you're the guy we call if we want something appraised. Well, I have been told I have an eye for these things. Whoa, he's got a golden okay, eye. cool. So, I have this necklace. Hey, Marty, who are you talking to? No one, Mom! <laughs> I think it's called, like, the, the arsenic amulet or something. The arsen amulet? Yeah. Maybe? It, like, has a jewel on it? Looks like a cat? Really? Now that is Is that a cat? I thought a love heart. All right. You've got my attention. Let's... What the? Oh, crap. Listen, kid. I can't talk over the phone. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Mom's right. <laughs> what? What? Listen, <laughs> I got a little hideaway in a town up north called Redwood Run. Oh, Redwood Run. That's uh, the title. No? Exactly. Meet me there in two days' time. I'll be in the house with a metal roof. Got it? Redwood Run. Metal roof. Got it. Good. Hey, Mom! Can I borrow the car on Wednesday? What do you need it for? <laughs> Crime things! Of course. Uh, no! Wednesday is yoga night! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, it does look like a cat. Alright, let's continue right to this video. Episode 5, Redwood Run. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then I was like, uh, drinking wine with your gal pals isn't yoga night just because you're sitting on floor mats, mom. The only reason Debbie calls it Oh, that that's her that mom. No that oh, that's his mom. Her little problem. <laughs> yoga night. Wow. Oh, never mind. I was brave enough to talk smack about mom. It's just a random driver. Crash. Dude, don't call me by my bonsai name. When we're off the job, it's Fred, all right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, his name's Fred. Fred. See you in a couple hours. Okay, man, see you later. Have fun alone in the middle of the woods. See it, Fred. Don't crash it. Don't. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, now he's stranded. Oh, Great man. job, Fred. Huh. Looks like he's in the countryside. Nice. 
are dumb. But what are all these bonsai blasters doing here? I guess that guy did say this was his hideout. Must be an evil town. <laughs> Rad! Well, there's outlaws there after all, so... There you go. Sheriff. It's used Wait to be... a minute. This is a police station. Is this a setup? Sounds like it is. Nobody sets up Giovanni Patan. Well, there is corrupt Please. sheriffs after all. Oh, hi. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, uh, I'm Giovanni. <laughs> I'm supposed to be meeting someone here for crime things. Oh, don't tell it to the sheriff. He may prisoner. <laughs> He's right over here in our first and only cell. Oh, can't miss it. Oh, he was a. He's, gone. He's a. But why your gun is decorated hey, uh, a, like a donut? You? Are you Ramsey Murdoch? Oh, so. Are you oh. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, all right then. I appraise you. To so be he's sure. arrested. Sorry, it's just the eye, right? Ramsey points to his right eye, which is made entirely of gold. Knew it. It uncomfortably in its socket. Yeah. Oh my god, creepy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I do know what. I do at parties. How do you lose it? Did someone shoot it out, or yeah, this just happened? stab it? How'd you get caught? God? Yeah. Nah, kid. I turned myself in. Really? What? You can't give up! You didn't tell me my necklace was worth money yet! I ain't giving up. It's like this. I got a lot of enemies, right? And right now, there's some bounty hunters after my head for forgery and embezzlement. But Why you in prison. Why the bounty hunters should be after you in what? prison? She can't turn me over to the authorities if I'm already in jail! See? <laughs> Pretty smart, eh? Besides, this place okay. is great. Watch this. Hey, Sheriff, buddy, do me a solid. Top me up, would you? Oh, uh, sure thing, friendo. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Fresh one. Wouldn't want my favorite prisoner getting thirsty. <laughs> See, it's like a vacation. The huh. guy's alone. He only got appointed sheriff because he's got an epithet. Huh, Same I could just throw whisk in there. Anyway, she likes it. To show me? Oh, right. Uh. I swiped this thing from the Sweet Jazz Museum. It lets you steal other people's epithets. Yeah. Something. Yeah, that's the Arsene amulet, all right. Hand it over. He clutches it against his chest, eyeing the gerbil man. How do I know you're not just gonna steal it? Yeah. Hey, come on, are you kidding? Wait a bit. Do you not know Is he gonna what pay him? Uh, the blurb in the manual was pretty small, and I just kind of skimmed it, so... <laughs> Ramsey holds up the pine cone, and uh -huh. slowly, it begins to change. What? A brilliant golden yellow color begins to spread from the tips of his fingers. Oh my god. The, the pine cone transmutes. That is ever fat. Seconds, turning stuff into gold. Into solid gold. I don't need money, kid. I literally just made this worth my time. <laughs> yep. He yep. Turns any old dreads into gold. It's a he should be worried. They should, he should either, I you know, a wear a collar to stop having heart, his powers. I don't want saps like you getting con out of all their hard work. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. He's good. Ramsey eyes it up and down with his gross rat face. <laughs> well, would you look at that? It's the real deal, all right. Yeah, it's the real so, deal. How much? It's hard to say. Wait, the maker uh, I think the gold nice. is well off. I'm 60 years old, and 65, give or take. Probably worth at least a few thousand bucks. But when you throw in the fact that you can steal any epithet you want with this baby, I can think of more than a few people who'd want to get their hands on this thing. Oof. You find the right Monday businessman who wants a superpower, and it's worth millions. Seriously? <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> The nice. higher-ups will definitely promote me for this. They might even make me a bonsai valedictorian. That's like the third highest rank. Your system is confusing. But, um, you sure you want to hand this over to the bonsai blasters? Those guys don't exactly pay well. I mean, Bliss Ocean would probably give you at least twice as much for it. Those Monday terrorist guys? Hmm? No way. They're scary. Hey, I'm not saying they're good guys, but it is good pay. It's not about the money. It's about the street cred. Yeah. I want to be the biggest villain of all time. Mm -hmm. And if I get promoted to the Bonsai Blasters, that means I get to keep all my current minions when I make it big. I can't just leave them behind. They're hopeless without their brilliant leader. I guess I can respect that. All right. 
Best of luck, kid. Thanks, mister. I'm gonna go turn this into the big boss. Whoever that is. Uh, <laughs> he's a good kid. Yeah. Too bad he's gonna get screwed. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> good luck at crimes. Bye. Hey, episode of race. Hey. Oh, he hates birds. A jingle, but... Yeah, I got Percy. We don't know her powers. Maybe her power is something with a sword. Attention all units. Attention all units. Looking for a patrol in the vicinity of Redwood Run. Uh-oh. Unit 375 reporting in. Over. Hey, yeah, Percy. We just got a call from the insurance company. Sounds like the Donaldson kid crashed his car again. Oh my. Oh Have god. Minutes. Five times this month. <laughs> Merrill owes me a dollar. Yeah, that kid should not be driving. Anyway, Plus, does he even Did he take so driving lessons? Eh. Nah. Go over there and give him a lift home. Of course. I'm on my way. Roger that. Stay frosty purse. Is he, is he is he flirting? Is he flirting with Percy? Oh, thank goodness. Hey, officer, I... Ah, you! It's the Fuzz! Yes, hello. It is me, Miss Fuzz. Yeah. Greeting, citizen. You appear to be in an automotive pickle. Are you injured? Uh... No. Uh... No. It appears you may be in shock. Allow me to assist. Percy reaches out her hand and focuses on the ground. Some nearby stones wriggle and converge, oh. forming a small foundation. Then suddenly, a tiny mushroom-like hut springs up from the ground and begins to emit... What? A faint, pleasant aura. What the hell? Right. Please, bask in the glow of my hut. My epithet allows me to construct small buildings that provide aid to those nearby. This apothecary will mend any physical wounds you may have sustained. Oh, not mental wounds, Interesting. Though. It is not a substitute for a licensed psychotherapist. Uh, thanks. As for the <laughs> car... My expertise is primarily architectural, but I might be able to do some quick repairs to get it up and running. Uh-oh, one of the Bonsai Listen, Bastards members. I don't mean to alarm you, but I believe I may have just spotted a Bonsai Blaster. <laughs> bonsai Blaster, huh? Out here in the woods? <laughs> That's crazy! I'm going to investigate. I suggest you stay in your car, and if anyone dangerous approaches, disguise yourself as a humble crash test dummy in its natural habitat. Ouch. Uh, okay. Phew, that was close. If I'd had my uniform on, I would have been... Huh? Hmm? Who is that? Whoa. Who's that? Be careful. Officer P Percy's a... Oh, is that the boss? Well, well, well. What have we here, Arnold? Hard to tell, Bugsy, but if I had to guess... I'd say he looks like a little old bonsai captain. <laughs> a captain, huh? That can't be right. What would a lonely captain be doing with something like that? I don't know, Bugsy, but that necklace is way out of his league. We'd better do him a favor and take it off his hands just to be safe. No, <laughs> don't give it to him. No. Who are you, clowns? Yeah. If my raw presence is enough to tell you that I'm a bonsai captain, you should be smart enough to know not to pick a fight. Mm -hmm. I'd clobber you. Yeah. Aw, listen to that. He thinks we're scared of a widow captain. Ugh. He's acting like he thinks he's a bonsai Do you move? associate that justice. Ain't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have laughed him if I were you. Those uniforms. You're bonsai blasters? Oh, we're not just blasters. We're bonsai vice principals. Vice what? principals? What? Since That's when right. you guys need the rank of Since when you need for getting these principles? Yeah, this ranking system is confusing. Yeah. That makes us your superior officers. Which means you have to do what we say. And I say you give us that necklace. But this is my ticket to promotion. Yeah, just give it them. You just take a minion's hard work. Can't. Whatever are you talking about? Your hard work is all for us. After all, minions are just tools. Yes. Oh. You shut your jowls. 
Minions are the heart and soul of villainy! A bad guy is only as good as his underlings! It doesn't matter what his rank is! Oh, yeah? Then why don't you prove it? Show us your minions! Uh, I would, but they aren't here, so... Uh... Better get running. Uh, oh, too bad. I guess that makes us the better villains. Get him! Run! <laughs> too much. Oh, too late. Oh, what's his name? Okay, we never know. Epithet erased. Epithet erased. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Man, they took a. Hey, hey! That amulet looks pretty good on you, buddy. Don't mess around with that. Thank you. You might steal I'm your epithet. Sure it'll look even better once we hand it to the boss, and he gives us a nice big promotion. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not real bad guys. You're just jerks. How can you be so selfish? This yeah. is a dog eat dog world, little boy. You got to be cutthroat to survive. That's why every moron stays a minion, and the people with any real value move up. That's how it is, all the way to the tippy top of the pyramid scheme. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's really what the bonsai blasters think, mm -hmm. then who needs them? Screw you guys! Yeah. I'll become a great villain on my own, then you'll see! Harumph! This is the part where I'd storm off, but my ride won't be here for a couple of hours. Huh? So I guess I'll go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those guys. Oh, dear. Yeah. What malaise has befallen this town? Criminals perched upon every stoop. Yeah. And these buildings appear to contain more termites than wood. Yeah. Hmm. Impressive in its own way. Yeah, it's some kind of like abandoned town. Sword. Listen well, you reprobates. I am an officer of the law, and as such, I request that you quietly and respectfully form a single file line and march straight off to jail. <laughs> All right. Listen, Mr. Police Officer. Miss. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, never mind. Oh, thank you. Um, sorry. <laughs> Listen, Miss Police Officer, you're way outnumbered here. Numbers are not decisive in battle. One must also consider defenses. As such, I shall construct a wizard tower. Fire! Whoa! <laughs> nice. Come on, guys. She can't take us all at once. She <laughs> might. There we go. Now this is living. He takes a sip out of his pine cone. Or tries to anyways. No. Yes. Hey, Ramsey. Oh, you do know each other. Zora, how did you find me so fast? Come on, buddy. Wait, is that a, exactly is, is that a bounty hunter? Golden eye and gerbil face. Well, too bad for you. As you can see, I have already been captured. I'm afraid that bounty is as good as gone. Oh, Ramsey. Oh, she's you one of the bounty hunters. Oh, this ain't a real prison. Ramsey's body instinctively <laughs> oh. turns to gold wherever she's aiming. She wiggles her pistol and watches the gold spot dance around his figure. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's fun! I can draw a smiley face! <laughs> <sighs> Calm down, scaredy cat. It's your lucky day. I just got a call from my boss. Got me a new job, which means my hunt for you is currently on hold. You're safe. For now. Oh, boy. I'm here on friendly terms, so how about you be a friend and tell me all about that kid with the necklace, huh? He and I need to have a little chat. You mean Molly? You just missed him. <laughs> Shoot. Well, that's fine. How old, is, how old is that guy anyway? How old is Captain ball. anyway? So tell you what, I think he's I'm gonna do 60. you a favor. Where are you gonna boss him out? Get a nice head start and go and hide someplace. Doors open for you. You're a free man. For now. Yeah, the yeah the chef never gave a flying monkey. I'm coming for you. Ooh. Of course you can always stay here. Did you think this prison cell keep you safe? She grabs one of the rusty old window bars and rips it off. It crumbles to dust in her hand. 
What Maybe the, the hell? Maybe the sheriff can protect you. Well, I'll try, buddy. Pew, pew, pew. Yep. That Whoops. sheriff Looks is... Like safety was off. <laughs> yep. That sheriff is pathetic. See you soon, Ramsey. Bye. Whoa. Get out of here. Is everyone all right in there? I thought I heard gunfire. My, this looks like some sort of ramshackle approximation of a police station. Yeah. How quiet. Well, not anymore. Perhaps because criminals that... are working to reform their own habits in their free time. Very admirable. She flashes her badge. Detective Percival King, Sweet Jazz Police. Who's in charge here? Oh, that would be, uh... You? Me. <laughs> yeah. Well, 50%. Of, uh, he looks at his badge. Redwood Run. Sheriff, are you aware that several criminals are openly gallivanting about your town? Oh, yeah. And why have you not made any move to arrest them? Oh, I would. Because he's our probably he's corrupt. Old. Look, I... <laughs> I arrested him all by myself. Very impressive. I was wondering if I could use your phone to call for reinforcements. Oh, we don't have a phone. I don't understand. What kind of town is this? If you have no phone, then how do citizens alert you to nefarious goings on? Uh, they shout. Mm. Oh, I I'd get it. It's the Wild West. It's like, I think there's no phones hands. back then. Lost quite a bit of stamina just in dealing with that crowd outside. I don't suppose you have an epithet. Oh, oh yeah, I, I'm the only one in town who does. I can blow really hard. Eh, that's probably a joke there. Yeah. <laughs> I see the big bad wolf can blow more than you. Oh, my donut. I see. Well, perhaps I should search elsewhere for backup. Someone in this town must have a mobile. Uh, hey, wait, 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 miss. You said you dealt with all of those guys outside, right? Uh, oh, yeah, he needs help. A convict. Your cop is showing. Oh, excuse me. Thinking hmm? like that's not going to get you anywhere in this town. Drop the cop. It's time for crime. And no thinking. It was better in my head. What are you saying? To catch it's... a criminal, you got to think like a criminal. Oh, yeah, and I decoy. And to be one. You let me out of here, and I'll help you catch a dozen bad guys for the price of one. What do you say? A veritable trial is she gonna agree? of justice. The mind of a criminal is a dangerous place, and one that is quite foreign to me. Your knowledge could prove invaluable. Yeah, yeah. You let me out of here and keep me protected from any dangerous folks we might run into. Bounty and hunters. you catch the bad guys. Seems like a fair trade to me. Hmm. Yeah. Very well. Let us away. Great. Good you, luck. Uh, do you want to cuff me first, or are we just free balling here? Do you have an epithet? Uh, nah, nah. He's turning stuff into friend. gold. Well, in that case, there's That's no his epithet. You and be able to manage you just fine. Wow. Way to make a guy feel powerless. Well, in a literal sense, you are. Ooh, <laughs> two for two from the boys in blue. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Uh, before you guys go, take this with you. Ah, some extra firepower for our investigation, I take it. Oh, His own no. donut I just gun. I give guns to everyone who visits the police station. Oh, and my oh, God. What's a sheriff for? Solving crimes. Arresting wait. Jesus Christ. Uh -oh. Or he can rest. Epithet. Or he can uh, arrest uh, uh, bad guys more than that lousy sheriff. Okay, her name is Zora. Uh. Howdy morning, fella! What'll it be? Feel bad for him now. You know what? Give me something hard. Coming right up, man! Oh. Thanks! Hey, a pine cone drink! God, look at me. I'm turning into Debbie. Ah, oh, the tavern. A classic gathering place of scalawags yep. and hair do wells. True, true, true. This true. partnership is already proving fruitful. Uh, yeah, sure. Say, let's get something to drink, huh? All I've had today is pine cones. Hey, Barky! Shirley Temple, would you? This place is just crawling with scoundrels. Hmm. Uh oh. <gasps> just the man I've been looking for. Excellent work, partner. You have what? You there at the bar, sweet jazz police. Dun I dun dun. Under arrest for the theft of the arson amulet. Police lady. Police lady. <laughs> 
Whoa! Bad kitty. Wait, is that it? Oh, is it it? Oh, that's it for the episode. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Comment down below what video you want me to try next. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Jello Apocalypse. His link, his link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeehaw!